Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. We're going to be taking a look at a Dish Network update. I usually like to do videos whenever something tangible is happening with Dish as they become the fourth wireless operator here in the United States as they, you know, caught up in the T-Mobile and Sprint merger, kind of replacing Sprint as the fourth carrier, competing with the likes of Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. So let's take a look at this update. Uh, this tweet was actually sent out. Uh, I'm assuming as some semblance of a marketing, uh, you know, like a marketing ad, letting people know that, you know, Dish is in progress and building their national network. Now, the way they're going to do this is it's going to take it's going to take a lot of resources. It's going to take a lot of unique, you know, approaches to networking. Obviously, they're going to be mostly focused on some lower band technologies. A lot of low band. They've got 600 megahertz, 700 megahertz low band. Uh, they also have some AWS licenses. They have a decent amount of spectrum, you know, sub-6 gigahertz. I mean, they're not going to be doing too much in the millimeter wave space, but in building out their, you know, standalone greenfield 5G network, uh, this, is, this is, you know, updates we're going to need, right, to make sure that we actually have evidence that they're building sites. So dish towers are, are being constructed. We've got proof of it here uh, pictured in the screen share. Uh, they've got contracts with hardware and software vendors. You know, they've got cloud operational deals with Amazon Web Services. We've got tower deals with American Tower, Crown Castle. I think they may have also have some stuff with SBA. Uh, towers are now being up. They're being uh, put up and built. Uh, we know that, you know, Las Vegas has already been named as one of the potential, you know, early markets uh, that are going to be live and active for DISH. Also, you've got this tower going up in Pennsylvania. We've got sites that are, you know, um, currently constructed in Colorado. So be on the lookout for different types of permitting and zoning licenses. You know, these towers should be coming up and, and getting constructed. Uh, so you'll be seeing their equipment going up on pre-existing sites that belong to, you know, the tower companies like American Tower and such. So the first markets are expected later on this year. Uh, we are expecting it during the NFL season, so that would peg it in the fall. You know, I, I guess we would expect something of like October, November, things to really start to pick up. By December, we should be seeing several markets coming up and live. Anywhere where there's an NFL team is fair game. So I think, you know, you think about Las Vegas, possibly Cleveland, New York City, uh, cities in California like L.A., you know, that have NFL market teams as well as Texas. You think about you know, Dallas and Houston and some of these bigger towns. Also, I think towns in Florida like Miami and Orlando, Jacksonville. Uh, we can go ahead and throw in Philadelphia, Boston, Chicago. You know, they're all fair game for some of these first initial rollouts of DISH. So I wanted to share this tweet with you guys, let you know what's going on. There'll be more news like this trickling in throughout the rest of the year. I think things will really start to pick up in the summer maybe late summer as we head into the start of the NFL season. So I will follow up and I'll let you guys know more as the news does break and, you know, we get public indications of, you know, these network elements kind of coming to fruition. Let me know what you guys think of this tower news from Dish and what you guys think of the prospects of Dish. Now are you starting to kind of buy into them becoming a player and actually building some semblance of a network in some markets? I think it's encouraging. I think a lot of people have had their doubts, and rightfully so, as you know, Dish and Charlie Ergen have always been known to be spectrum squatters, and they haven't really done anything up to this point. But it looks like the rubber is going to meet the road now. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. The voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.